Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Dog Nation, where we enrich you with all the knowledge you should have if you're a by heart dog lover. We hope we'll be able to answer all your questions in our videos and would love to learn from you guys also. So please share your thoughts and queries with us in the comment section below and do subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also you can send pictures of your furry friends on the email listed in the description to get them featured on our channel. So without any wait let's start with the video. We often keep dogs as pets, but it is important to remember that dogs are descended from wolves. They may be domesticated, but dogs are animals after all. Additionally, many of them were bred for violent purposes such as hunting and home defense. No wonder 4 million people are bitten by dogs every year. That's why we've created this year's most dangerous dog breeds list, based on the breeds that bite the most and the breeds that are said to have the most deadly attacks. Studies have shown that some vicious dogs were raised by people with psychopathic tendencies, and that these people had dangerous effects on the dogs, leading to bad outcomes. To identify the most dangerous dog breeds in 2022, we need to look at the dogs that caused the most deadly bites in a given time period. We've compiled a list of the dogs most likely to kill humans, making them the most dangerous breeds. German Shepherd German Shepherds are working dogs that have been used by the military and police for decades. The reason for this choice is clear. These are hardy, intelligent, powerful, and dangerous dogs capable of delivering lethal attacks on humans. Weighing about 90 pounds and standing over 2 feet tall, the German Shepherd breed is perfect for containing human threats. Breeding as working dogs for generations has created a highly effective tool. Unfortunately, the breed is characterized by aggression and territorial awareness and has been responsible for 20 deaths, approximately 5% of dog bite deaths, and numerous non-fatal bite incidents. The only bright spot in this case is that this breed is highly trainable. American Bulldog Unlike the British Bulldog, the American Bulldog remains a strong workhorse and has not been bred to the point of uselessness. At just under 30 inches tall, these dogs build muscle and can weigh over 100 pounds. The fat, strong dogs and very dangerous when attacked. American Bulldogs are responsible for 15 fatalities, accounting for about 3.5% of all fatal attacks. That's not a huge number, but it's significant given that this breed is rarely mentioned alongside other dangerous dogs. No doubt, this breed has a powerful bite and the ability to leap high enough to flatten the back of an adult. Rottweiler Before pit bulls became popularly known as highly dangerous animals, Rottweilers were considered the most dangerous dog breed in the world. These dogs can grow up to 25 inches and weigh over 120 pounds and are still healthy. They have large bodies and can be ill-tempered in some situations. In particular, dogs can become very friendly and protective of their families, but this protection does not extend to visitors. The Rottweiler was responsible for 45 fatal attacks, comprising 10% of all fatal attacks that were witnessed. Rottweilers also have a very powerful bite and know how to put it to good use. Pitbull Pitbulls are adorable animals, but they have the highest fatality rate of any dog. Not surprisingly to most people studying dangerous dog breeds, pit bulls are the most dangerous dog breed. According to the above study, pit bull was responsible for 284 deaths in 13 years, which is about two-thirds of fatal canine attacks in the United States. Considering that only 6% of all dog breeds in the US are pit bulls, this is a rather disappointing statistic. They've been bred to be dangerous as hunting and fighting dogs for generations, so it's no surprise that these dogs continue to pose a threat to this day. Another reason they are a species is their large size, weighing up to 80 pounds, strong jaws, and excellent killer instincts. No human or other animal can beat a pit bull. Still, many argue that these animals are simply the result of being bred and keep pit bulls as pets. Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiffs are large, strong dogs that can be territorial. Devoted, agile, and fearless are all terms that apply to the Bull Mastiff breed, which is why people value them as pets. They'll guard your home and garden but may not like the presence of outsiders, so this behavior should be curbed while young to prevent attacks. Bull Mastiff attacks are relatively rare, but the fact that these dogs are so large means they can do serious damage if they attack people or other animals. They can reach 130 pounds and be over 27 inches tall. These dogs were responsible for 3.2% of all fatal attacks during the 13 years of the study, representing just 14 deaths. However, given the relative rarity of this animal in the United States, this indicates that the dog is dangerous. Siberian Huskies The Siberian Husky is a strong working dog that has a powerful bite. Siberian Huskies are prized for their wolf-like appearance. 
It shouldn't be too surprising to learn that dogs that share the line of sight with wild animals look a bit like wild animals. Huskies were used as sled dogs in the coldest regions of Canada and the United States. Weighing in at only 60 pounds, he is sturdy for his size and a very independent animal. These dogs are very motivated when catching their prey. Most animals smaller than them, including humans, can seem like prey to them. In the study we cite, the husky was responsible for 3% of all fatal attacks. Although mostly friendly, these animals have been known to challenge children and adults, even those with no history of aggression. Labrador Retriever Labrador Retrievers react violently when threatened. The Labrador Retriever is a hunting dog bred to work with humans. They're fairly large dogs weighing up to 80 pounds and standing only about 2 feet tall. Labradors are often prized as family-friendly dogs and are poor guard dogs due to their trusting nature. Why is the Labrador responsible for 2.1% of all deaths? Most of the time, Labradors are thought to guard their territories and food. Sometimes you accidentally corner your dog and correcting his behavior makes him feel threatened. In any case, Labradors are not very aggressive animals, but they can run people over and bite them badly. Boxer Boxers look silly, but they are strong dogs that do not like outsiders. Boxers are very goofy looking and interesting dogs at the same time, but they are bred to be working dogs. These dogs are high energy and weigh up to 80 pounds of muscle. Combining the boxer's physical prowess with his protective nature, it's easy to see why they can be such a nuisance. Dogs can deftly attack when someone they don't trust does something they deem threatening in the vicinity of their owner. Boxers, which have caused only seven fatalities in recent years, are also prone to non-fatal bites. As with any dangerous breed, you should only acquire this breed if you know how to handle and train dogs. Doberman Pinscher Once widely used as guard dogs and police dogs, the Doberman Pinscher has a reputation for being intimidating and aggressive, especially around strangers. The Doberman Pinscher's iconic silhouette is easily recognizable by its cropped ears, straight back and constant alert appearance. These animals were used as guard dogs. With the exception of the German Shepherd, they've done such a good job that they've become almost synonymous with work. The name Pinscher comes from the German word for its habit of attacking and biting prey. This is another breed that has been bred for generations to be the perfect fighting dog. It's no surprise that they are extremely dangerous. Doberman Pinschers were responsible for about six deaths and many bite incidents at the time of the study. Although the mortality rate is not as high as other dogs, this breed is dangerous and can cause serious injuries. Standing two to three feet tall, he weighs over 80 pounds. Alaskan Malamute Alaskan Malamutes are larger, stronger, and more ferocious than Huskies. Finally, we have the Alaskan Malamute, a dog very similar to the Siberian Husky. The main difference is that the Alaskan Malamute is much larger than its wolf brethren. These dogs weigh about 90 pounds and are 26 inches tall, so they are quite large and powerful. They're also very energetic and love to jump and play pranks. Unfortunately, these dogs are not known to give in to their owner's desires, so they need to be raised well from an early age. Although they are only responsible for four deaths, the Alaskan Malamute is still on the list of dangerous dogs due to its powerful bite and willingness to use it against others. A dog's breed is part of the equation that contributes to its violent nature, but it is an important part that cannot be ignored and should not be ignored. Danger is socialized in a friendly and affectionate way in the home, but some domesticated animals always remain wild. It has been bred as a vicious predator and thus remains more aggressive. Others have been rescued from situations where they've been socialized to become violent like attack dogs. That's it in today's video. Hope you like it and don't forget to share it with your family and friends.